Just outside the red zone. Wise eye to throw. To the end zone. Wide open man, Jackson Farah. Touchdown. Hanford. Those that have been to a Hanford football game might not know Mike Hyde or what he's done in these kids' lives, but they've probably heard his voice. Uh, nice job. You'd be able to hear him in the stands. Like, no matter where he sat, even if he was in the nosebleed section, you'd still be able to hear him. After he was diagnosed with stage four cancer, Mike Hyde had one week before his time came, and he spent it surrounded by family. The way he would have wanted to go, which was around his family. I mean, it was hard watching him go, but in the long run, I mean, that's, that's what he wanted. That's... And we knew on Saturday that he was ill, and then the next day when we showed up to practice, uh, coach told us he passed. But they say that a life can be measured by how many people they affect. Doing it year after year and sacrificing so much um, to help others. While Mike Hyde's life was cut short, his impact was far reaching. I mean, even through states, like there's people down in Texas that have been impacted that wanted to come to our drive by, which was crazy. Even I didn't realize um, until after he passed how much of an impact when you really sit down and look at someone's legacy or how he impacted the community and everything. And with him, it was unbelievable. Nice job. Wow, nice catch. In the two years that I knew him, he was really just, uh, whenever I would have problems, you know, he was kind of like that outside guy, but not in my immediate family that I could talk to about things, you know. He coached football for more than 35 years. Most recently with the 7v7 Columbia Basin Aftershock. He was a coach. He told me that, you know, he was proud of how far I had come. And like, that's just, I always thought that was just nice to hear, you know, uh, not from your like mom or dad sometimes. A friend. Still thinking of him. And a father. Um, it's more than just losing a dad, it's losing a coach and probably one of my best friends. So 